Okay, guys, today I want to talk to you about the Star Maid Council. You might be wondering, what is the Star Maid Council? Well, it's uh, funny you should say that. The Star Maid Council is actually a shine driven uh, forum elected and community elected um, council of intergalactic representatives. So, as citizens spread far and wide throughout the galaxy, it became less and less easy for their voices to be heard. The universe continues to expand and the citizens wanted to know what was out there and they wanted their issues heard. So the Council of Intergalactic Representatives, a.k.a. the Intergalactic Council, or just the Council, uh, was formed where elected citizens would bring forth the needs of the people and they would discuss key ideas and issues with the powers that be and convey deliberations of the Council to the citizens. So... It's a way of, for the developer to interact with the community and as such anyone can apply. There are a few stipulations and there are roles, so responsibilities for people on the council. Um, I'm just going to run through a few of them just so that people are familiar with what this uh, council role actually means. So I'm just going to read through these. You can see them all on the screen now. I should have them up on here somewhere. So uh, feel free to check the link out in the description. Um, the council roles, you have to seek opinions from the community on ideas and suggestions um, and then present them to the dev team for consideration. So in other words, there are thousands of forum suggestion threads. Um, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be your responsibility to go through these thousands of threads and collate them into a readable format which uh, just isn't repeating the same ideas and suggestions over and over again with the same or just a slightly rehashed approach. Second point is to represent the majority opinion of the community in discussing with the dev team new projects and initiatives. So that would be actually moving forward with the future of the game. Uh, they want to try and make it a little bit more, um, a little bit more community oriented. So that's that's that. You would be a voice of the people, and you would be speaking for the people very much. So uh, there is that as well holding public and private forum discussions on key ideas and issues in order to deliberate and decide what the community thinks the best course of action uh, to be the best course of action. So that means you've got a ring lead and liaise with all the different uh, sides of the argument. So if not everyone agrees on something, you have to mediate and figure out what the best way is with everyone in that role, which of course isn't going to be uh, quite as clean cut as you think it's going to be. You may end up finding people disagree with you along the path. Um, but that's, you know, that's just the nature of leading. Um, so, last point. Convey the council thoughts, opinions and decisions to players who inquire to representatives in game on servers they are active on and to take note of players' concerns or ideas to bring to the rest of the council. So... As many people who are prominent in this community already run servers, or run channels or streams, um, or are actually moderators on the website themselves, there shouldn't be any issue with who is allowed to apply. So anyone can apply. I think there are a few stipulations, but I'll be getting into that in just a second. So we're just going to skim down here. Okay, so moving on into the next part, that would be the elective rep elected representatives. So representatives on the council are elected by the community and serve one six-month term on the council, after which new members are elected. Um, citizens apply to become council representative if they believe they'd be well suited on the council. Then during an election period, citizens will be able to vote for whoever uh, they would like to see on the council. Elected representatives are denoted by the Intergalactic Council Medal located under their name in the forums. The ballot, <clears throat> in order to become a council representative, citizens apply, have their name go on the ballot and then voted in by the community. Citizen applications must be approved by Shine before their name makes it onto the ballot, which is an interesting one, but I guess it's because people have stupid names. Some of them could be offensive. So, you know, I mean, I don't know how they get their accounts in the first place, but I've seen a few. Um, so here we go. Every six months, the council has an election period where applications are open and concluding with the ballot being voted on by the community. During an election period, citizens will be able to vote on the current ballot list on who they would like to see on the council. 
the voting will be conducted through a poll on StarMade Doc forums. Wait a minute, what? That's interesting. So it's not first past the post. Um, it's not uncontested seats. And it's not uh, proportional representation either. So I don't really know. <laughs> okay, there's going to be a poll in the forum. And whoever has the biggest bar wins. So it's... But anyway, like I say, this is, uh, you know, how else are they going to do it? You know, <laughs> they've got to do it somehow. So the names on the ballot will determine how many names citizens will be able to vote for in the poll. What? The number of names on the ballot will determine how many names citizens will be able to vote for in the poll. What? Is that last sentence just basically saying you'll be able to vote on people who are in the ballot? <laughs> like you won't be able to vote for anyone who's not on there. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that last part, but uh, we'll get that up on the screen, I think, because that's funny. Well, that's what it says. The number of names on a ballot will determine how many citizens will be able to vote for in the poll. I mean, it'd be nice if you had a first, second, third choice, and if your first choice doesn't make it, then your second choice vote would count, but I don't know how progressive the voting system is going to be, so we're just going to have to wait and find out. So there you go, guys. That is the Council of Intergalactic Representatives. I'm going to be coming back with you more of this. We're going to follow the elections. I've actually applied, so... I'm going to be campaigning for uh, Vote Tomato Sauce 2015. So if you want to vote for me in the next council election, uh, I'm going to be up as Tamino Sama, obviously. Um, but whoever wins, that's great. Uh, just If I don't win this time, I'll apply next time. So it's no big deal. Um, whoever gets in, it'll be very interesting to see who gets in. Um, and yeah, so there will be a massive campaign coming soon. Um, but please vote for whoever you believe can do the job best. So um, that comes down to a number of factors. I don't know whether everyone gets to see the applications or whether that's just Shine that gets to see the applications. No idea. Um, but whatever the case, we will be following it. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time.